All right, guys, it's Steve here from Nostalgia. Thanks for watching. This is the fourth installment on the Pi Station, how to make your own Pi Station video series. Um, for this video, where it's going to be a shorter one, we're just going to go through a uh, quick fix for audio, and we're also going to overclock our SD card. It's going to be relatively uh, quick, easy to do. Uh, we're going to be utilizing Putty to get in there to, to edit the configuration file. Um, and to set everything up, it'll all be done in the same area. The reason that we're going to be uh, adjusting the audio issue, the HDMI fix essentially, is uh, some televisions, whether it's older or newer TVs, don't recognize the Raspberry Pi's HDMI out as an HDMI out. Uh, they'll recognize it as a DVI out. And for those who don't know what DVI is, is it's a, um, it's a way to transfer video from one device to another, um, but it doesn't support audio transfer. So if the TV recognizes um, the HDMI cable as a DVI cable, it will only essentially look for video and it won't look for audio and your audio won't work. So what we're going to do and what this method's going to do is it's going to force the Raspberry Pi to send an HDMI signal to the TV so the TV knows, hey, this is an HDMI cable we are going to be looking for both audio and video, and it's going to work every single time, regardless of what TV you use. So the first thing that we need to do is log into Putty, which you downloaded in our previous video. Uh, if you aren't sure how to do that, just go ahead and check out our video on our uh, how to install background music um, onto your Raspberry Pi video. And I've got the links in the description of that video there. Um, Alternatively, you could just Google search Putty and you'll find it. It's relatively uh, painless to, to download. So we're going to go ahead and open up Putty. And here we are going to put in our RetroPie, which should bring it up right away since our Raspberry Pi is on. Um, the username again is Pi and the password is Raspberry. So there we go. We are logged into our Raspberry Pi now. And all you need to do is just follow my lead, just write in exactly what I write. So we're going to change our directory. So we're going to CD um, space forward slash boot. So we're going to enter our boot directory. And what you'll notice is right over here, it says pi at retro pi. Now that's changed. So now it actually has a forward slash boot. Um, so now within there, we're going to type in sudo nano config dot txt. I just want to make sure I spelled that right. sudo nano config.txt. We'll hit enter. And now it's actually going to open up the config file that's inside of our Raspberry Pi. So in here we can do a whole bunch of um, changes. What we need to do is we're going to scroll down and we're going to look for the overclocking area. So if you can bear with me here, we're just going to go ahead and scroll down. And right here, uncommon to overclock the arm, 700 millihertz is the default. So we aren't going to over, or sorry, we aren't going to overclock the arm, but what we are going to do is press a space and we are going to insert this line of code directly underneath the arm underscore frequency equals 800. So it's going to be DT overlay equals SD tweak comma overclock underscore 50 equals 80 and that's it so what that line of code does is it will tell the um the raspberry pi to overclock uh from 50 uh megahertz to 80 megahertz um in terms of speed on the sd card um, the next thing that we're going to do since we're in this area is we actually have to um, change the hashtag at HDMI audio for um, HDMI uh, underscore drive equals to. So that's actually just, just slightly farther up. Um, I'll get right to it. So right here. So in this area, it says uncomment to force an HDMI mode rather than DVI. Um, this can take this can make audio work in um, DMT computer monitor modes. So what we need to do is we need to remove that hashtag. And then below it, we're going to actually add two additional lines of code. 
that will help to make sure that it happens every single time and that there's no issues. So we'll type in HDMI underscore force underscore hot plug equals one. And then the next one we're going to write in is HDMI underscore force underscore E did underscore audio equals one. And that's it. So we've gone ahead and added those two lines of codes in and we have um, removed the hashtag in front of this um, HDMI underscore drive equals two and uh, we added the uh, the line of code to overclock our SD card, and that's all we need to do. Now we need to hit Control X to save it. Uh, it'll ask, do you want to save this? You'll hit the Y button for yes. It'll ask, do you want to change the name, or how do you want to name it? You're just going to leave it exactly as is and hit Enter, and that's it. So now we are done. We have overclocked our SD card, and we've uh, corrected our audio on our Raspberry Pi. That's all that we needed to do. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and hit Exit, and it'll exit out. And that's it for this video, guys. There's not really anything I can show you on the Raspberry Pi because the audio will work as it has in the past. Uh, and it isn't an issue for me, but it is an issue for many. Um, and you can't really, you, you don't really notice the uh, the overclocking on the SD card. There's no way for me to, to physically show that to you guys. Um, but that's it for this video, guys. Thanks a lot for watching. Give us a thumbs up, subscribe to our channel, and uh, leave a comment in the comment section below if you guys have any other questions or any issues. Uh, I'd be more than happy to try to help you guys through them. So uh, thanks again for watching, and we'll talk to you guys later.